Um, anyways, oh, and let's get that. Let's get to the big fucking thing in the NFL. I did see Thursday night. I did see the replay. I got to make sure I have all the fucking names right. Uh, and that Cleveland Brown helmet incident there. I don't think I've ever seen a f- more of a fucking like overreaction. I know you're not supposed to do shit like that, but like I that whole fucking thing was the hot chick at the bar starting a fucking fight. And then the shit hits the fan. Everybody, all the other combatants are arrested, fined, and all of that shit. And then she just gets to walk out of the bar like, oh, my God. The fucking fuck this place. What the fuck was that? Dude, Mason Rudolph was as guilty as anybody in there. And just because he got his big dumb head hit by a fucking helmet doesn't make him innocent. He was a willing participant. A lineman got in the way of him and that guy on the fucking Browns. He continued to pursue the fight. He was trying to rip the Cleveland Brown guy's fucking helmet off. And he got his own helmet ripped off. And then he gets fucking dinged in the head so lightly that after it happens, he immediately turns around to the referee like, Oh my God, I'm a quarterback. You can't fucking do that. Shout out to that guy in the Steelers who went like fucking, he came in like, uh, remember back in the day, the old school wrestling when the wrestler would come out of the locker room? I <laughs> came running down throwing haymakers. You know, he did that fake kick to the head. It was literally a fake kick. He started to kick and he kind of alligator armed it. And then, you know what's hilarious? And then, then what happens is, is all these fucking people who aren't happy with their own lives and they don't like that these NFL players drive fucking killer cars and fucking top shelf Johnny Walker blue pussy are all like, that guy should have been let out of that stadium in handcuffs. All I can say is that I hope that there weren't, which I knew there were, a bunch of children watching that and looking at their father and being like, Daddy, is that what football is? What I saw was the guy in the Cleveland Browns defending himself from this, this fucking hot chick, you know, who's just so used to, you know, Mason Rudolph coming into the league after all these quarterbacks have taken all these fucking hits. And all of this shit and all these fucking rules have been made so that even when you have an incomplete pass, 90% of the time it's like fucking pass interference and you get to drive down the field at the end of the game like you're fucking John Elway, which you're not. And that's not enough for you. Now you're going to sit here and you're going to fight with the fucking, what is this guy, a linebacker? You're going to sit there and fight with this fucking guy. How the fuck does he not get anything? It's unfucking believe, and then they're gonna sit there and act like he hit him with the helmet. All right, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. But you know what about his re? Actually, right after the guy gets fucking hit, he turns around like, "Oh my god, you fucking see that?" Then the ref comes over like he owns the bar that the shit happened in, and everybody else gets fucked over. It was a fight, dude. Did you ever go go look at old NFL films? Because people are like, "That was the most disgusting display I've ever seen in my history of watching this game." No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. You guys don't remember the Oakland Raiders in the 70s? Skip Thomas, Jack Tatum, Willie Brown, and that other guy that I can't remember. And literally his move, it was almost like he let you catch the ball. You'd catch the ball, and then he he would just fuck it with his forearm. He would punch you in the side of the head as hard as he could and knock you out. That was his move. He did it to Lynn Swan. Just came out, clocked him in the side of the head, concussion, knocked him out of the fucking game. The guy made a career doing that. And now all all these years later, oh my, that's the most disgusting fucking thing I've ever seen. I don't know. I thought that that was, that Miles Garrett is the only, in in, in the other guy in Pittsburgh for coming to his defense, they they get suspended. And the fucking guy, who was in the middle was 50% of the reason why that whole thing went down is immediately considered the fucking victim. Now I know somebody, few people are playing the fucking race card. I think it's just the hot chick in the bar. 
That's what it is. You know, you have a hot chick in your bar. A bunch of guys are going to come in trying to hit on her. She's going to shut them all down, and they're all going to spend a bunch of money on drinks. Okay? The fucking quarterback is the hot chick at the bar. Nobody gets protected more than him. The wide receivers are like their good-looking cousin. Um, but it's pretty much all about the quarterbacks in the fucking league. You know, having said that, I don't know. He is sort of the prototypical fucking white guy, you know, full head of brown head, hair with the square jaw. I don't know. Maybe there is something to it. Who the fuck am I to say? And I'm going to stop this right now before an 18-year-old comedian comes in and shuts down my podcast and never feels more powerful. Um, yeah, you can't have that. They find the right people, but uh, I don't know. I'd say like a fucking... I would have gone maybe two games, two games suspension. He's not going to do that again. You know, his emotions got the better of him, but the fucking hot chick there kept ramping him up. The only thing that was missing in that little domestic violence thing looking there is when the refs came in to break it up. Uh, what's his face? What the hell's his name? Mason Rudolph should have jumped on the cop's back being like, that's my boyfriend. Get your fucking hands off him. <laughs> Um, all right. I didn't think it was that big a deal. I don't think it's as big a deal as ridiculous fucking disease riddled fucking, uh, mosquitoes coming in from Asia. Global warming, 90% of the f species of fish being fished out of fucking the ocean. You know, those stories pale in comparison to, uh, a comedy show that's not going in the direction you want to go it in and uh, football players behaving too violently in this violent fucking game. Um, that was the most disgusting display, you know, not, not, not the results of, of playing football and guys committing suicide. That right there was the ugliest thing you've ever seen in this game. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? I, uh, let's agree to disagree. How about that?